Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about organic chain reaction. You know, in IIT, JEE, NEET, etc., in entrance examinations, the difficult mostly question from organic chemistry will be coming from this type of organic chain reactions. In this one single chain reaction, I will be covering compounds which are there there in entire organic chemistry. From the first compound of organic chemistry to the last compound of organic chemistry, we will be covering there in the single chain reaction. See, if we take hydrocarbon, you know, organic chemistry basic primitive most organic compounds are hydrocarbons. The starting material there in organic chemistry is hydrocarbon. See, I will be taking ethene first, C two H six. This ethene on oxidation gives alcohol. See here what I have written: oxidation. What oxidation is? We have already discussed there there in redox reaction. Nine definitions I gave you about oxidation and reduction. So ethene on oxidation gives ethanol, ethyl alcohol. That is alcohol. That is grain alcohol. This ethyl alcohol on further oxidation gives aldehyde, CH three CHO. That is acetaldehyde. That is ethanol. So ethane on oxidation gives ethanol. Ethanol on oxidation always gives aldehyde. Alkene. On oxidation will always give alcohol. Alcohol on further oxidation always gives aldehyde. Aldehyde on further oxidation always gives carboxylic acid. Here, this is acetic acid, ethanoic acid. That is vinegar. In Hindi, it is known as sirka. This acetic acid. This this ethanoic acid, this carboxylic acid, on further oxidation gives CO two and H two O. You know that is the end of organic chemistry. That is the end of organic chemistry. This CO two and H two O is part of inorganic chemistry. Now this, uh, if you see this ethane, this ethane on Oxidation. You know, oxidation means gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen. So this C two S six on oxidation, that is loss of hydrogen, gives C two H four. This C two H four on further oxidation, that is loss of hydrogen, gives C two H two, the C two H two on cyclic polymerization, the C two H two on cyclic polymerization on aromatization, in presence of red hot iron cube, in presence of red hot iron cube, that is cyclic polymerization. That is aromatization. We will finally get benzene, arene, C six H six. See from where organic chemistry starts. Organic chemistry starts from alkene, alkene, alkyne, arene. These compounds are the part of Eleventh class syllabus. So, from eleventh class point of view, from eleventh class organic chemistry, alkene, alkene, alkyne, arene, all is over. So, alkene that is here you have taken is ethene on oxidation on loss of hydrogen gives C two H four ethene or ethylene. You know, ethylene is. Used for artificial ripening of apples. 
This ethene or ethylene is used in artificial ripening of fruits such as apples. If we take polyethylene, that is called polythene, that is polythene. So polyethene, polythene, polyethylene. This C2H4 on further loss of hydrogen, that is oxidation, that is dehydrogenation, gives you acetylene. Ethyne, this ethyne, in presence of red hot iron dew, gives this benzene C6. H6. That reaction is called cyclic polymerization. Open chain acetylene get converted into closed chain into cyclic aromatic hydrocarbon arene. This process, since in this process aromatic is formed, so is known as aromatization. So aliphatic is converted into aromatic. See, this part is taken. From 11th class organic chemistry, this is 12th class alcohol, aldehyde, carboxylic acid, etc. So in this single channel reaction, we have covered entire organic compounds there in your 11th and 12th class syllabus. Now see this one single channel reaction, this alcohol will be formed by the oxidation of alkane, ethane. If oxidizing agent is a strong, then from this ethane directly we can get this CH3C double OH or you can get CO2. That depends upon the oxidizing power of the oxidizing agent. So from this alkane, Directly we will be getting CO2 or C double OH or CH3CHO that totally depends upon the oxidizing power of the oxidizing agent. So you should know the strength of the oxidizing agent and accordingly we will be getting products. See if we reverse this reaction. This Carboxylic acid on reduction. What I am saying, I am not saying on addition of hydrogen because if you see like this, then it will be totally wrong. So I have not said that addition of hydrogen, I have said that reduction. It can be loss of oxygen, it can be addition of hydrogen, so many more. As I have already told you, in redox reaction, we have discussed about nine different reaction, uh, different definitions of this reduction and oxidation. So you have to see it from there on. This aldehyde on further reduction, hydrogenation gives alcohol. This alcohol on oxidation gives alkane, and alkane on This alkene, from where you will get this alkene? You will get this alkene by the, by the reduction, by the reduction of alkene. This alkene on further reduction, this alkene on further reduction gives C2. This alkene on further oxidation, sorry, gives C2H2. So in this way, this entire chain reaction can be handled. This is the very basic part of this organic chemistry. C, if we take the C2H5OH, this C2H5OH when reacts with PCl3, this alcohol when reacts with PCl3 or PCl5 or SOCl2 or red phosphorus plus Cl2, red phosphorus plus HCl. This also is covered there in other video. In that video, I have told you how this organic compound will react with PCl3 or PCl5 or associate 2 Product formed will always be haloalkene C2H5Cl. This C2H5OH 
further reacts with one more C2H5OH in presence of the hydrating agent such as concentrate H2SO4, then you will be getting ether C2H5O C2H5. This C2H5OH when reacts with CH3C double OH, we will get aster CH3 C double O C2 H5. This C2 H5 OH when reacts with NH3, this C2 H5 OH when reacts with NH3, product formed will always be C2 H5 NH2. This C2 H5 OH when reacts with KCN, product formed will always be C2H5CN. When the C2H5OH reacts with AgCN, then product formed will always be C2H5NC. If the C2H5OH reacts with KCN, product formed will always be cyanide, will always be nitrile, will always be C2H5CN. When the C2H5OH reacts with AgCN, Product form will always be isonitrile, will always be carbilamine, will always be isocyanide. That is here in this case is CH5NC. Why this difference in product with KCN and AGCN is there? Reason the KCN is ionic in nature and AGCN is covalent in nature. Because of that covalent or ionic nature of KCN and AGCN, this difference in product is there. If this <laughs> C2H5OH reacts with KNO2, this C2H5OH reacts with KNO2, product formed will always be C2H5NO2. And if this reacts with AgNO2, again KNO2 is ionic in nature and AgNO2 is covalent in nature. So again there will be difference in product. With As I have already written, with KNO2 you will be getting C2H5NO2 and with AgNO2 we will always be getting C2H5ONO. ONO is nitrite and NO2 is nitro. This is nitroethane, this is ethyl nitrite. Here nitrogen is trivalent, here it is pentavalent. So in this way, all nitrogen containing compounds there in your syllabus is covered. Cyanide is covered, isocyanide is covered, nitro is covered, nitrites are covered, amines are covered. This is your last chapter there in 12th class, second year organic chemistry. First chapter is alcohol, ether, haloalkenes, that's covered here. What your second chapter is, next chapter is oxygen containing compounds. Aldehyde is covered here, acid is covered here. We will see some more reactions of this carboxylic acid. This carboxylic acid when reacts with this carboxylic acid when reacts with one more carboxylic acid in presence of dehydrating agent product form they will always be Aster, sorry, anhydride, not aster. Aster you will be getting when alcohol reacts with carboxylic acid. So when one molecule of acetic acid reacts with another molecule of acetic acid in presence of dehydrating agents such as concentrate H2SO4, product form will always be acid anhydride. The CH3COOH when further reacts with PCL3 or PCL5 product formed will always be CH3COCl that is acetyl chloride that is ethanoyl chloride that is acid chloride. This CH3COOH when further reacts with NH3 
ammonia, then product formed will always be amide CH3CO NH2. This CH3COH, you know, acid derivatives are asters. That is already written here. Is acid anhydride? Is amide? Is acid halide? So all acid derivatives are over. So C in this one single chain reaction, all organic compounds which are there, there in our syllabus in 11th first year and 12th second year is covered. So reactions like this single chain reaction. From this topic, you will get the difficult most questions there in IITG degree and need. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.